this is Veto121 and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. And in this episode we're going to be taking on a boss. And this is going to be my skill and accessory setups for my characters here. I want to have attack boost, obviously. Uh, well, I don't, really, I don't really think magic defense boost matters, but whatever. In case some of his attacks are magical. Two accessories that I skill link from Jansen. Guard heal. Free form, because this will help... Uh, grant immunity to uh, formation paralysis because this next boss likes to screw up your party formation like you wouldn't believe uh... yeah and i have this on all the characters actually and uh... yeah status analysis just because it's helpful see how close he is to dying defense boost obviously and absorb attack and yeah i have a combination of different accessories on my characters that yeah yeah i have the sword teachings and the uh... Yeah, and the stand ready ability is on Kaim here for uh, basically so I can keep guard condition up and uh, yeah attack boost critical heal on uh, on Seth here defense boost and max MP up on uh, on Ming circle and mag magic trial record just in case I want to cast like a regenerate spell with composite magic on all party members and uh, yeah Seth's is pretty much the same as Kime's for the most part. And, uh, yeah, most importantly, though, I do have power hit on both Kime and Seth, because I'm going to be using that ability in this battle. And, yeah, relax, reduce casting time, mental stability, you know, that way their their spells don't get interrupted and they get them off quicker. Absorb attack, extremely important for this fight, because this guy hits ex extremely hard. And if you can absorb some of his attacks as opposed to take damage that is extremely extremely useful uh, weapon guard obviously in case you know just in case that helps out a lot too basically the same thing for uh... sarah here and uh... yeah for jansen since he is not an immortal character yeah unless you have freeform on all the party members uh... you can enemies that use the uh use attacks that screw up your formation if one character does not have this ability it will screw up the formation and I have level 4 spirit magic on Jansen because he's gonna be buffing the party for this fight alright Okay, kid. Alright, here we go. This guy can be pretty tough. Without the right setup. And yes, this is the Dinozauro, and uh, yeah, he's an organic type monster. He has no elemental weaknesses. You can steal a slot seat from him, but it doesn't really matter because he drops it when you beat him anyways. Now, to start off this battle, I'm just going to go ahead and defend with Kaim and Seth. In fact, if you are going to use regular attacks on this guy without using power hit, I recommend using uh, rings that do damage against organic type enemies, like the Spartan Ring, or something better, maybe like a Bio Killer and Damage Up or something like that, but I don't think that's really going to matter for this fight because I probably won't be using regular attacks. Let's start out this battle. I'm going to go ahead and cast Power Us on Kaim, because that will really boost the attack damage. And with Sarah, I'll do the same thing. I'll cast the same exact spell on Seth. And with Chanson here, I'll just go ahead and cast a slower spell. Or actually, yeah, I'll do that on the boss here, because that will help out. Yeah, he is susceptible to slow. As you can see, this guy hits extremely hard.
Yeah, that's that attack that he does that tries to screw up your party formation. He can screw up your party formation with another attack, but for the most part, that helps out a lot. That way you can still maintain your guard condition. Alright. Now let's start casting spells on this asshole. It doesn't matter what spells you cast on him, just use your most powerful spells. And yeah, with Chanson I'll just cast Gamble, because that's probably the best spell I have with him. I think. Oh wait, no, I got Flora. Yeah, I'll just cast Gamble for now. This guy can counterattack if he nullifies the damage. So keep that in mind when you attack this guy. Okay, yeah, that that attack right there does screw up your party formation. That's all right though. You can fix that. It is fixable. Okay, go with the power hits. might hurt a little bit more. Yeah, as you can see, he hits all party members now because the formation was screwed up. But now it's back to normal, and our guard condition is back to, well, it's back to what it was anyways. Yeah, go with some power hits. I think it's time for a healing spell. Yeah. Maybe go with all shield and cast a spell with Jansen, I guess. That'll work. As you can see, that absorb attack ability just went into effect there. So yeah, instead of taking damage, I absorbed it. Very, very useful ability. Yeah, and obviously he has 20,000 HP. I mean, you can see that, though. <laughs> Alright, yep. Go with a little Flora. Yeah, it doesn't matter which of the en elemental spells you cast on him, because he doesn't have an elemental weakness. So, yeah, just use your most powerful stuff, whatever you want, basically. Should have this guy pretty soon. I'm surprised he hasn't counterattacked yet. Now watch, he probably will on this round. <laughs> yep, that will not work there, buddy. Yeah. Extremely useful abilities to have in this battle is that freeform ability. Alright, should have him now. Alright, we got him. Yep, with a good strategy. That guy isn't too hard.
Leap before you look, I always say. All right, gain a level, and we got a slot seed for beating that guy, which is extremely awesome, of course. And, yeah, let's explore up this way now. All right, yeah, as you can see, there's, there's one of those stone slabs. We've seen a bunch of them so far, but they'll come into play later on. All right, we get an Elmen crown. All right, I backtracked to this location right here, and I let an Elmen in a previous battle that I off-screen steal my Elmen crown. So, uh, yeah, now they've taken the, yeah, yeah, apparently these guys were convinced before that we stole their Elmen crown, but, yeah, uh, that's why they were going around stealing stuff from, from us, is because they apparently thought us humans stole the Elmen crown from them, but, now that they have the Elmen crown back, Yeah, we have an Elmen leader back there, and he has the crown on, and yeah, you can win a mind bangle from this guy if you beat him, so let's go ahead and start taking these guys out. I think wind spell should do the trick. I think. Yeah, and Item Blast, that's an ability right there that uh, the damage is determined by how many items they've actually stolen from you. They stole three items from me, so it did 150 hit points of damage. So basically, every item that they steal will do 50 hit points of damage. So uh, yeah, if you have a ton of items that got stolen from them, it will deal a whole ton of damage. But yeah, you get my wind rings out here. Yeah, that should work. Dark Crystal Ring, and are Elmen's Beasts? No. I don't know why I was thinking that. It's my freaking Wind Ring. Here we go. And yeah, just go ahead and cast Wind of Spells on this guy. Should go down fairly quick. Obviously helps to get perfects. Looks like it has pretty high defense. And magic defense. That's probably not going to do that much damage. <laughs> On second thought, maybe it will. Holy cow. Okay, it's almost dead. Almost got it. Only the strong. All right, we get a mind bangle, which is awesome. Teaches you the MP up two ability. Yeah, whatever. Huh. 
Yeah, and now they're not going to steal from us any longer, which is extremely nice from this area. Yeah, we got our stolen items back. And there you go. Alright, yeah, let's get moving. And that's all for this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the next episode, we will explore beyond the ice cannon. Canyon. This is Veto121. See you next time.